This video is made available by the Berea College Technology and Applied Design Program under a Creative Commons Attribution Sharealike version 3.0 license. In this video, we're going to learn how to turn on two LEDs. Now that may not seem terribly exciting, but it will slowly build on what we've done before. So we'll start by building a circuit where we run pin 4 out through a 1K resistor into our LED, remember the positive side, then the negative side or the anvil goes out to the rail and from the rail down to ground on the Arduino. We will also then wire up pin 2 and we'll run that out to the breadboard through a 1K resistor and from there to the positive side of our LED, perhaps a green LED or some other color, and from the negative side to the rail and over to ground. So both LEDs share a common ground and the pins serve as five volt sources. So pin two and pin four both act like five volt batteries or power supplies in our circuits. So we'll start with our code to do this and it's going to look very familiar. It's going to build on the previous videos. So we're going to turn on two LEDs. We start with our magic incantation void setup paren paren bracket bracket and void loop paren paren bracket bracket. Our code goes inside of these and in the setup function we need to tell the LEDs that we want to, uh, we'll actually tell the Arduino pins that we want to use them as outputs. So again, we do that with pin mode. So that's pin mode, paren, paren, and a semicolon, and pin mode, paren, paren, and a semicolon. Now, you may recall that those are functions. And we're going to use this first pin mode first pin mode is a function so it's a it's a monster and uh, it wants some inputs it is hungry and the second pin mode well it also is a function so it's a monster and it it, uh, it looks nervous but uh, it's hungry as well and so what we need to do is set the mode on both pin 2 and on pin 4 so perhaps our, uh, you know, our red monster might be pin 4, our green monster might be pin 2. So we need to get these two parameters into our functions. So those numbers will go inside of the parentheses. And we also want to use those pins as outputs. So that means we need to say that uh, well, for the green LED, green LED is wired up to pin 2, so the pin mode on pin 2 should be output, and the pin mode for the red LED, the red LED is connected to pin 4, so we need to make the pin mode for pin 4 as an output, and if we verify our code, it should compile. Okay everything's happy. So far we have a program that seems correct. Now in our loop, that's where we do stuff, um, we want to turn on the LEDs. And uh, again, you may recall that we used digital write. That is how we uh, tell the Arduino that we want voltage on a pin or if we want to turn the voltage on a pin, uh, turn off the voltage to a pin. So we'll say digital write and it's a function so it has some parentheses. Ooh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Expected a semicolon. Okay, I forgot a semicolon. Right. And oh, uh, too few arguments to function. <clears throat> now, it's not saying that it can't function. What it's saying is that there are too few arguments, which is another word for parameters. So there are too few arguments to this function. Now, digital write, it needs to know what pin, and it needs to know something else. So, digital write is a monster. It is a function monster, and what this error says is it 
It is hungry. So there's two things that need to go into the function for this to work. So we need the pin, and we need to decide whether or not we want to turn the voltage on or off. Now, of course, they didn't let us do that with the word on or off, so we had to say that we want to set the voltage to high or low. So for the green LED, which is pin 2, we will say that we want it to go high. And for the red LED, which is pin 4, we'll say we want it to go high. And we verify our code, and now everything is happy. So when you forget to put the correct number of things into a function, the Arduino environment will yell at you. So here's pin 2, and here is pin 4, right, over there. And uh, we want to make those pins go high which means we want 5 volts on each of those pins. And when that happens, both of our LEDs should light up. That's, uh, that's how you indicate light, by the way. And so that's it for this video. And we'll build on this more in the next one.